Hey there guys, Rick here from Spool Time. Um, today I'm going to be replacing my head. My exhaust port on cylinder one and cylinder two, both have a crack in it, and I'm getting uh, coolant going through into my cylinders. And also some of my uh, valve seals and a couple of valve guides I think are bad as well, so I'm getting oil into my intake side of the head. So I got the new head. I've got a V3 turbo from ZZP. This is my second one. Uh, my first one did not. Nothing happened to it. I actually sold it so I can have extra money towards a down payment for my house. I'm also putting in a ported throttle body from Tim Novak. And then all the gaskets here. Then I got some new Moog uh, tie rods. The reason for this video, though, is to show you guys one thing I always see on the YouTube videos of anything replacing the uh, the head, replacing the valve cover, not, not the valve cover, sorry, replacing the intake manifold or injectors. Obviously, the mistake everybody's doing is they're getting to the injector clips, and what they are doing is, the plugs, what they are doing is these metal clips right here and here. I always see them pulling them off. They go flying across the room, they lose them, have to buy new ones, can't find them. Easiest, easiest way to do this, please take note, easiest way to do this is to put the screwdriver up against it, push it forward. That's all you do, push it forward, pull up, and kaboom. Clip is out, or the plug's out, clip's still in place. All it does is you squish it, and it smushes open. That's it, easiest way to do it. So don't do it the other way, where you pull the clips off, lose them, bend them, break them, whatever. Uh, fastest, quickest, easiest way, push up with a screwdriver, pull up, plugs off. And also, I'm running uh, the Siemens 60-pound uh, aftermarket injectors, okay? Uh, so they're not the stock ones. Um, I am, you know, tuned and stuff like that. As you can tell, I'm putting more stuff onto my vehicle. The injector... Uh, not clip. Yeah, the injector clips from the stock ones. You can actually use them with these injectors, and I probably think other injectors. As long as I got the slot on the side of the injector itself. So what I got right here is I got the injector clip turned an eight turned eighty or ninety degrees. So instead of them facing, sorry. So instead of the the end of the injector clip facing that way, I have it facing backwards. So you'll see a little small rod end sticking out right there, a little uh, metal piece sticking out. You'll see my injector clip has two slots on both sides of it. You just slide that slot into there and you rotate it 90 degrees and it pops into place on the other side. So it holds the injectors in place. Very, very easy, more secure. It's not really necessary because the uh, fuel rail is being held down by two bolts, which will you know, hold the injectors in place, but for more security and sense of, you know, sense of security um, and no worry, use the clips. Very, very easy. So again, when it comes to the injector plugs, push it forward like that, pull up, out. You know, losing the injector plug clips and breaking them, bending them, stuff like that. So until next one, guys, peace.